There's no command. You can wait for this. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Because if it happens, it's huge. Yes! Oh, good! <laughs> oh, that's so good! <laughs> oh, that's so good! Oh, how good are you? Oh, how good are you, puppy? Oh, how good are you? <laughs> yes, that's so good! Oh, that's so good! Oh, puppy's so good. Oh, puppy's so good. Yeah, so good. Good puppy. Get it. Get it. Busy hoovering. <laughs> yes, good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. And guess what? Guess what we have? We have a free. Yeah, we have a free. Come here. Come on. We need Miss Candace to come to our house, don't we? <laughs> patience. Yes. That's what patience is about. Yes. Let them. And if it goes too long, uh-huh. And I mean that I, I didn't tell this puppy to do anything. Uh -huh. I just waited for it to do something, right. and then I rewarded then what, reward. what I what I wanted. Okay. Um. So that's part of that is you having a plan. Mm -hmm. with what, and that's huge. I mean, that's 
Mm-hmm. That's third week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's week three. You know how smart okay. your dog is? Okay. You know Good. how smart your dog is? Yeah. We'll tell him I have a little lemon brain. I do. My brain is the size of a lemon, and it's not very convoluted. <laughs> so one of the things that uh, goes on with why you see so many shelter dogs, yeah. you don't so much in purebreds. Uh-huh where people put some skin in the game up front, you know. Right. But you see so many shelter dogs with backyard dogs because um, they're not trained, they're not socialized. They are, they give them up because people tend to want to put their morals, mm-hmm. their, their moral, you know, boundaries on the dog. Mm-hmm. Dogs are amoral beings, mm-hmm. innocently, but they're amoral. Mm-hmm. They, they are amoral. They mm-hmm. don't, you know, they they don't have your morals. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they don't have brains big enough to be able to do those inter, you know, mm-hmm. to have guilt or something like that. They right. just don't have it. Right. That little guilty look that you get uh-huh. that they give you is um, when I mean they know they've displeased. But they give that look because that that look is meant to, you know, don't 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 hurt me. Mm-hmm. You know, it's to, to make right. the make the blow lesser. Right. So people put their moral values on the dog. Dogs don't have morals. And then the dog doesn't do something out of spite. Right. The dog isn't angry at you. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can put a dog lock it in the trunk and come back a day later, and if it hasn't died, it's thrilled to see you, you know? Yeah. They don't have that. Right. But folks put that on them, mm-hmm. and then I'm just going to treat this because it's just perfect. It's good. Mm-hmm. That is, that will get you so far if you will notice when she's doing good. When she's doing good. And ignore when she's doing bad. Mm-hmm. Because this is what you want. You want her sitting on the mat or laying down on the mat. Mm-hmm. And we didn't give a command and we're not doing the mat work, so it's okay that she got up. We just let her know, hey, we mm-hmm. really like that behavior. Right. It's really, really good. Right. So, questions? Um, I was, well, this is not really a question, but I was talking to my husband um, last night. What do people do that work a full-time eight-hour job, I mean, eight-hour-a-day job, and get a puppy? And that's how do they, how, I mean, that's, you end I, up with under-socialized dogs. I mean, you yeah. end up with dogs that are fear biters. Uh-huh. Because you cannot put a puppy in a crate for eight to 10 hours. No. You cannot do that. It, it, but people do it, or they chain it out in the back, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, some dogs will adapt. That's but all of them are old. Yeah. That's gold, my dear. That is gold. Take that to the bank, put it in your savings account. This is gold. This is what attraction to the mat and loving the mat. This is what, this is the foundation for this. Uh And we're not training the dog to lay down on the mat or sit on the mat. Mm -hmm. We are creating a relationship and a foundation and all of that stuff, mm-hmm. you know, that, you know, the down, you know, that. I mean, you can do that if you want, mm-hmm. but the mat work will bring that to you. Mm-hmm. It will bring it to you. She acts like she knows exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, she does. She knows she's a good girl. Yeah, she does know that. She knows <laughs> what a good girl. Yes, and it's so gorgeous. <laughs> you are so Gorgeous. So, do you guys have a pool? Yes. Good, because you have a water dog. <laughs> what if, 
Okay, this is, okay. Our Dotson that we had, that we had to put down two years ago, he loved the water. He would swim in the pool all the time. Our Dotson now, who is four, doesn't want anything to do with water. So I'm wondering if our dog now doesn't want to be in the water, is she gonna be that way? Cause, okay. <laughs> What, gonna wish what if I want her to be that you're way? You're going to wish you could walk past a puddle. <laughs> you're gonna go, you know, I once, I looked at a piece of property in California that was 10 acres, uh -huh. and it was just overgrown with uh, scrub oaks. Yeah. You're not allowed to cut down a scrub oak unless it's this big around, and then you have to get permission on how many you're going to cut down on your own property. Okay. Because they're protected, okay? Uh-huh. So... I was worried, and, and there was a beetle that was out at the time, and I, I, I had a friend with me, and I, and I asked, oh, God, do you think, do, do, do you think, you know, that these might, you know, get infected? And he goes, you can only hope, you know, <laughs> because, you know, we had horses. We wanted right. some pasture land. Uh -huh. We ended up not getting that property because there was no, I mean, we would have had to take out way too many trees, uh -huh. and the county wouldn't have let us. That's perfect. Good. Good job. Good job. Good yeah, there you go. Okay. And that is the final one. Um, when you, and that was perfect. I just hit that by mistake, but it distracted her. Right. So you and your husband can each have a little squeaky toy mm -hmm. close to you where, so nice. And I'm going to do that slow. And easy. Yeah, that's good. Because I don't want to, if you don't want to stir them up, don't roughhouse with them. Right. Um, I had a historical human remains dog. Uh -huh. And we used to go, we worked a lot in graveyards, and we'd look for um, unmarked graveyards. Uh -huh. um, and people would hire us. Uh, it was called the Institute of Canine Forensics, and um, people would hire uh, Indian populations and stuff to go find the unmarked graves, like at Clemson, the unmarked graves of the, sl of yeah. the sl things like that. And um, this was a big 80-pound German Shepherd that had all the energy in the world, and his. What she get? Yes. A cleaner. <laughs> Food. <laughs> and, and, and his reward when he alerted, because he was not certified, uh -huh. but we trained, when he alerted, his reward was this. Really? That was it. That's all I could do because I had to teach him that that was all he needed, that that was exactly what I wanted him to do, and this is what he got. Because when you're at somebody's desecrated gravesite, you don't party <laughs> with your dog. Yes. So they had to, they had to be taught that. Yeah. And um, it was, and those dogs, both of my German shepherds, neither of them needed to be pumped up. I mean, they were both maniacs. Uh -huh. I mean, people would go. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I could not do that because my dog's already, you know, right. walking on the ceiling. So right. but I, I'm doing it anyway. You want to, and, and you may, you might find that with this girl uh -huh. that, because she's going to change. Mm -hmm. I mean, her personality, I mean, all these things are just going to change. Mm -hmm. And she's going to go through a stage where you're going to go, my God. I wasted my money because she won't forget everything she'll learn. No, she's not, is she? <laughs> uh -huh. They go through a period like that. Um, but it's why the mat work. Mm -hmm. It teaches them downtime. Mm -hmm. This is your place. Mm -hmm. Most people don't teach downtime. Mm -hmm. So all the dog has is one trigger after the other, mm -hmm. one trigger after the other, mm -hmm. until it's bouncing off the walls. Mm -hmm. Dogs have a, an emotional um, index from one to 10. Mm -hmm. So most dogs hang out around two. 
Um, little tiny dogs hang out more around four because they have tighter bone structures. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just going to put this up, you know, we're going to do it. We're going to put it up. We're going to put it up where we can't hear it. Yes, I know. And you found it already. You're just so brilliant. You were just so brilliant. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the wheel in front of it. That's what I'm going to do. This canvas is good, isn't she? <laughs> it's good. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, that's like, How would you describe her personality, like, compared to other dogs? Oh, you know, she's just, she's just okay. a baby. Okay. It's just really hard to say. Okay. You're going to know a lot more um, at 16 weeks than you know now. Okay. And, uh... And she may be really rowdy, but if you do your mat work now, mm -hmm. you're going to teach her to, to contain mm -hmm. some of that energy. And as long as uh, she's very curious, mm -hmm. <laughs> she's mm -hmm. brave. Mm -hmm. Let's see how brave we are. Hey, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Pushes in. Mm -hmm. That's a scary dark spot. She pushed in. Okay. That's bravery. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's confidence. Okay. I think she's going to be a confident dog. Um, she seems to be well bred. Mm -hmm. She's an AKC breeder, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. what's, um, did you see the health records of the parents? No. No. Did you see the parents? Mm -hmm. The mom, um, I think she showed me pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Th yeah. I showed you pictures. The mom is, was, is really small, and the dad wasn't that big either. Well, that's nice. Um, 60 pound dogs are nice. Yeah, so maybe she'll be much nicer than 80 pound dogs. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let me tell you this we went out um, Saturday night and uh, met two of our friends.